What does the future hodl? Not too many know the answer to that question, but personally, I know I'll be hodling my Bitcoin and Ethereum in the future, and it looks like Elon Musk just might be doing the same thing as he was the one who tweeted my beginning words. What does the future hodl? Well, let me try and be the one who can answer that because it's time for Chico Crypto. Where do we begin with this episode? As this one is a doozy, a video of old leads us down the rabbit hole to something new. So let's start out at the beginning of this year, when Elon Musk mysteriously tweeted, am donating 100 million towards a prize for best carbon capture technology, with the details to follow shortly after. He was looking for carbon capture technology in late January, which I found extremely suspicious because this was the largest prize donation in history to save the planet from polluters, and it was made the same month Tesla made their large Bitcoin buys. From Tesla filing with the SEC under the section, we hold and may acquire digital assets that may be subject to volatile market prices impairment and unique risk of loss, they said. In January 2021, we updated our investment policy to provide us with more flexibility to further diversify and maximize returns on our cash that is not required to maintain adequate operating liquidity. As part of the policy, we invested an aggregate 1.5 billion in Bitcoin and may acquire and hold digital assets from time to time or long term. Moreover, we expect to begin accepting Bitcoin as form of payment for our products in the near future. Tesla, a green energy company, bought a large chunk of a non-green asset, and they are accumulating the asset by using it as a means of commerce, a proof of work asset, which is known to be energy intensive, not green whatsoever. Then that same month, they launched the largest game prize in history, $100 million to whoever can capture carbon in a game-changing way. Then shortly after, in February, he announced who this was in collaboration through, XPRIZE. Something smelled fishy to me, and I initially covered that stink back in February, making the initial connections. Like the Ocean Protocol, an XPRIZE joined forces in 2017 for the multi-year-long AI XPRIZE, which from the roadmap is supposed to conclude this year, this quarter. Then I showed XPRIZES listed right on the Ocean website as one of their main enterprise partners, which makes sense, as Amir Benatafami is the chief Chief Innovation and Growth Officer for XPRIZE, and he is also listed as an advisor to Ocean, which was announced in December of 2018. So obviously the XPRIZE and Ocean protocol ties deep, but how does this lead us into another altcoin? Well, back in February about this XPRIZE, there was not much information about it, just it was a collaboration between Musky Boy and XPRIZE and the basic details of what the prize was looking for in a winner. But today there is a lot more what we like to call leakage. The Sponsors and Partners page has been filled in slightly, specifically in partners who provide support to an active XPRIZE and its competing teams in a variety of forms, ranging from mentorship to gratis or discounted services. The three prize partners that have been listed so far are Air Miners, Student Energy and Creative Destruction Lab, CDL, to provide nothing but burgers in regards to links. But the last listed CDL leads us down the next moist trail. So what is CDL, Creative Destruction Lab? From their website, they are a nonprofit organization that delivers an objective-based program for massively scalable seed stage science and technology technology-based companies. And this is focused in 15 tech streams, including AI, blockchain, climate, energy, fintech, and way more. It's a global organization, and as we can see at the bottom, who is academic-based and backed. 
CDL has a network of mentors helping these startups succeed to massively scalable companies. And as we can see, Siobhan Zillis of Tesla and Neuralink is within there, as well as Anash Ansari, CEO of the XPRIZE Foundation. But who exactly is connected to the CDL and blockchain? Who have they worked with before in the crypto world? Well, they have listed the alumni of this program, those that have been through the process, and it's hundreds of startup companies Companies, some who have made it, some who haven't. But we're looking for the success story in the blockchain world with a token. Who could that be? Well, it's New Cypher. New Cypher first joined the CDL program in 2018, but they are one of the CDL's big success stories, especially in crypto. Just within the last month, PR Newswire dropped this article. Mobility leaders prioritize data management, protection, and privacy while enabling users and providers to exchange exchange and monetize their most valuable digital commodity. The article states, the Mobi Connected Mobility Data Marketplace CMDM Working Group releases standards today to enable a marketplace that could securely commodify mobility data and ensure data privacy for mobility users. The article also lists the contributors to this working group, big dogs from the automobile space, but also right next to each other, New Cypher and Ocean Protocol. Mobi is the Mobility Alliance, and they're focused on creating the blockchain standards of the transportation future. And the members include blockchain vehicle and transportation companies from all walks of life. But of course, Moby's website lists Ocean and New Cypher right next to each other once again. And then they list them right next to each other once more in the website detail on the specific working group they are both in, the CMDM. But back to the vehicle giants of Moby. It includes the likes of BMW, Ford, GN, Renault Group, Honda, Hyundai, but no mention of Tesla within the alliance. Where is the connection? Well, going back to the PR Newswire article on the working group release, they said this is what was explored from the group Ocean and New Cypher were a part of. The working group explored practical use cases that center around vehicle data generation, sharing data provenance, and securely sharing data with peers, such as other vehicles and infrastructure. These use cases include number one, V2X data exchange. V2X stands for Vehicle to Everything. It's an IoT standard for intelligent transport systems. And as we can see from this research paper, there are two dominant V2X standards, Dedicated Short Range Communications, DSRC, and Cellular Vehicle to Everything, CV2X. But CV2X is looking to be the future. And then from this GSMA document on CV2X, they say, CV2X has support of mobile operators, leading mobile equipment makers, and many automakers, including Audi, BMW, Daimler, Ford, Lexus, Nissan, PSA, SAIC, and Tesla. Hmm, well, New Cypher gave a presentation in July of last year of their work with Moby and their privacy-preserving layer, how it relates to V2X. Towards the end of the presentation, they gave a demo of their technology and what they are working on with Moby. And as we can see, the example vehicle they used to be encrypted is a Tesla. Not any of the Moby partners, Ford or BMW, but Tesla. Just a coincidence or more to this than meets the eye. Besides the Ocean to XPRIZE connections and the Moby with V2X, what else does New Cypher have going for it? Well, I think something big. Now, New Cypher is a coin who recently made it to Coinbase, to CB Pro in November of last year, and then to the main application in early December. Okay, so it's got one of the biggest things in crypto already, Chico, so what? It's already added to the base. Well, that same day, New Cypher also made it to the institutional side of Coinbase, which was announced alongside a sus character, TBTC. 
Why is this sus? Well, last month in March of this year, New Cypher and Keep Network announced a protocol merge, codenamed Keanu. The goal of Keanu? Well, New Cypher put out another blog just six days ago with more details that said, perhaps the most overlooked aspect of New Cypher's collaboration with Keep is the upcoming launch of TBTC V2. I wonder why it's overlooked. Well, if you didn't know, alongside New Cypher, Coinbase announced they were looking at TBTC for Pro in the main application. It just hasn't been added yet. I wonder why. Well, it wasn't decentralized enough just through Keep. Back to the Keanu blog drop. New Cypher said, the security model of V2 requires a significantly higher number of signers than V1. A hard merge would allow Keep's 200 nodes and New Cypher's 2,000 nodes to provide an extremely robust signer set for TBTC and an additional revenue stream for stakers. My guess is Coinbase was waiting for New Cypher's integration before listing TBTC. And when it's complete, they will list it. And you gotta realize that the listing will be a big boost for New Cypher now. Cheers, I'll see you next time.